Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve. Welcome back to another episode on the Little Little Woodshop. I love it episode. All right, well, today we're going to be getting back into VCarve Pro again, and we're going to show you how to node edit that big bullwinkle, the moose. Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to actually import the PDF versus the bitmap that we traced in a previous tutorial. Okay, we're going to open him up. I am going to, after I import him, I'm going to go down to my transform objects. I'm going to get him in the center of the material. Now, uh, for quick reference again, this is a 12 inch by 12 inch template that we're, uh, job size we're working off of. I am going to take, under transform objects again, I am going to set selected object size. Make sure that your link X and Y is checked. The CAD software will automatically scale him dimensionally uh, to the correct size when you adjust one of your two axes, whether it be X or Y. Uh, I am going to take him to 11 point on his width. We'll click apply. We can see that the X axis automatically, because we linked the two together, has reset itself. We click apply. Great. All right, now for the node editing in this, what I'm going to do is we're by no means going to work the whole piece. We're just going to work a couple broken sections of it here, alrighty? So I am going to grab the pan view. I'm going to bring him in and let's get right up here. All right, so to node edit Mr. Moose, now this is going to be throughout. We're going to come down here to Edit Objects, Node Editing. Okay, so let's click on our nodes and now let's let's zoom in here. Now the one thing I want to do is all this craziness. I'm going to also not only node edit, but we're going to teach you how to clean some of this up. I don't I don't like all this. All right, feel free to move things about. This particular node, uh, I'm, instead of having two here, we're going to keep the one. We're going to come down to this fella here. If you right click, you can delete them. You can grab the ends of your nodes. You can readjust. You can grab the, the node itself. You can pull them over. I may put just a slight little curve to them because moose antlers are not exactly straight. I'm going to take this fella here, we're going to right click him, we're going to delete him. Alright, now let me zoom out. He looks a little better already. What we will do is we're going to take these two right here. Whether you highlight him with the nodes active or selection mode, either way it does not matter because you're just going to hit delete on your keyboard and get rid of him. All right. We'll stay in node editing. We're going to delete. Now, we want to connect him to this one down here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this node. I'm going to pull him up a little bit. I am going to right click. Now you see what looks to be like a little tilde key by your pointer. Okay. I am going to right click while well, that little wave below your pointer is there, and we're going to delete the span. We're going to get rid of it, okay? We've now got these two lines separated. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Now, oh my goodness, we're going all over the place. If I minimize him out, my other two nodes are way down here. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to right click just below the top of this point. We're going to right click and we're going to insert a point. We're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to right click, you're going to insert a point. The very top one, right click, delete him. You see the little wave? Let me let me really zoom in so you can see him good. See the little wave below your pointer? Right click, delete your span. All right, now I'm going to get him back down here to where uh, we can also see the the upper one. Oh, goodness gracious. And here we go. 
Now, I'm going to take this node and I'm going to drag him way up to here or right about to there. Alrighty? And we're going to do the same thing with this one. And I'm going to try to get them as close as I can. Now, for the moment, if we look, they're going to really, they're going to look out of sorts. They're going to be fat up here, thin down here. We're going to go, we're going to correct all that in just a minute, okay? We're going to take this top node, though, and we're going to pull this one down to here. Now, it looks out of sorts. The angles are, they're not radius, they're not smooth. Well, we're going to fix that in just one minute, okay? Let's come in. Let's click uh, on our edit, edit objects. Excuse me, it's getting late in the day. Uh, click on your selection mode. I am going to highlight one here. I'm going to hit my shift key. And I'm going to click my upper. The tool paths for both top and bottom are lit up, but they are not adjoined. We have not connected them yet. I am going to come down and I am going to join close vectors with a smooth curve. Now you probably didn't see it, but the one on the left just connected. Now we're going to connect the one on the right. It too is now connected. Now if we we pan out, we can see that we're really we're really out of sorts here. So let's go back into our node editing function. Let's highlight him again. Now, I don't need both of these nodes here, so I am going to right-click and delete one of them. I'm going to now adjust my node. Now, some cases you're going to find that the nodes are black and others are blue. Well, if they're blue, that means they have a smooth curvature to them. If they're solid black, no. You're going to want to right-click them and turn them smooth. This one is, however, smooth. So, I'm going to take the upper half of this node again, and that's put a nice, nice arch. Now over here, we have two nodes again. We're going to get rid of one of them. Right click, we'll delete the lower one in this case. Now I'm going to pan back out. I am going to grab the lower half. I want to put a nice radius on this. Now if we look, we've got it a little bit cleaner. I am going to go back in again to this corner though, and I'm going to probably stretch him out a titch more. Same thing down here. You have to keep working these. This is this is really where once you once you build speed, this will go quickly for you, okay? Don't think that it won't. Now I'm I'm following him down and I'm seeing that in here he's pretty thin. We're going to take this node and we're just going to we're going to pull him out just a little bit. I'm going to pull this one out just a little bit. I'm basically looking at a tool path. I don't want it thin, thin, and then fat, fat in another corner, okay? Thin, thin, fat, fat. Technical terms, nothing like them, okay? So let's take and uh, maybe we put a, little, put a little twist to that there. It's going to open this corner up just a little. Okay, let's click off the node editing. Now we have what appears to be a fairly straight, dimensionally even radius. However, I still do not like this top up here. I'm going to slide him over just a little bit. I'm going to pull the bottom of my radius in. And you can adjust these by swinging this back and forth while holding down your, your left... Uh, your left pad on your mouse. Click off your node editing and pan out. All right. I like that. That doesn't look too bad. So we'll go up to the top here and we'll do one more for you just for the sake of example. All right. I'm going to go in. I'm going to pull this node down. I'm going to add one over here. We're going to insert a point. Right click. Right click on the line. Uh, once I make sure that I have my node editing function. 
we're going to right click on the line and we're going to insert a point. Again, I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete this point with my little tilde uh, function showing under my pointer. I'm going to right click, I'm going to delete that span. I'm going to come down here and again I can see that my closest nodes are too far below so we're going to go in. I'm going to right click, I'm going to insert a point, I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert another point. We'll right click, we'll delete this point and then we will right click and we will delete the span. Now we have all open vectors. I'm going to pull the one from the top down to the bottom and I'm going to probably do this for both of them. Okay, so down we are. We're going to get them nice and close. I am going to come over to Edit Objects, Selection Mode, and this one we're going to take and close vectors with a smooth curve. It's connected now. We'll come over here. There is a little gap, so let me zoom in so you can see this. We are going to close vector with a smooth curve. And it's attached now. However, if we zoom out and we look, the antler's kind of out of sorts. We're really fat up here at the top. And we're really thin down here. I am going to come in. I am going to go back to Edit Objects. Node Edit. I'm going to try to delete him first. We'll scan out. But again, I told you, the moose itself does not have straight antlers. So let's drag this node down just a little bit. With this drag down, we're going to extend our top and our bottom node adjustment and we're going to try to put just a little very passive curve in there but just enough to break up that straight edge. I'm going to do the same thing over here. As I told you we have two nodes here sitting on top of one another. I'm going to right click. I'm going to get rid of one. I'm going to zoom back out. You're going to constantly zoom in and out. You're going to, you're going to take and see just what's what. You can do most of this by eyeing it. I am going to pull the adjustment down and I'm going to pull this adjustment up. From there I'm going to slide him over just a little bit. I'll click off him. I'll take a peek. Okay. I still don't like this one edge. So I am going to take and right click and delete him. I'm going to slide him out just a little bit. Click off of him again. Now we've got a decent curvature. This antler is now fully assembled. And this is what you would have to do for the remainder of this piece. Over here you would want to uh, go in and attach this antler to this side beam. You have editing over here, node editing over here. Here, I can tell you because I have done this animal from the ground up that you would also want to come in and note edit his legs. But this is all done the same way. It's fairly easy. Uh, it's just time consuming, that's all. But these steps will hopefully help you. They'll close up uh, some of the toolpaths. You'll, you'll create uh, a complete toolpath function around the animal. There won't be any blank spaces unless you choose. It's entirely up to you as to how much you do or do not want to edit. But I hope this video helped everybody. Um, stay tuned. We've got more coming. Followers and, and my subscribers, you ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so very, very much. And uh, again, I hope this article helped, okay? All right. We'll see you soon. Stay tuned. There's more to come.